Well, have you seen the ads yet calling today Orange Friday? I heard oranges mean you're black. Yeah, in the woods for sure. You don't want to be wearing black. Uh, deer hunting opener is the deal. A half million Minnesotans are expected to head out. Here are four things you should be aware of this hunting season. The first week is the busiest. The Department of Natural Resources says 70% of Minnesota's firearms deer harvest usually occurs during the first three to four days of the season. It's pretty amazing. The deer count is down. Last winter was a long one, and for that reason, Department of Natural Resources is predicting Bow. one of the poorest success rates in decades. Kim, get it. The DNR it's mine. <laughs> harvest will fall from 170,000 last year to as few as 120,000 this year. But one hunter we spoke with isn't too concerned. Uh, I do hunt in northern Minnesota, so it's always been a little, you know, not as abundant as some other areas, so I'm kind of used to it. One Gander Mountain store manager we talked to says he's seeing customers trying to make sure they have every extra advantage. There's a few things that customers are, are getting a little bit more detailed about, and that's, you know, controlling their scent, um, you know, using scents to, uh, you know, to kind of attract deer, and then uh, also, you know, some of the newer technologies as far as eliminating scent. Um, completely. What about the most common deer hunting violation? Well, according to the DNR enforcement officer Greg Salo, the number one violation that they ticket for is baiting. He says salt licks are okay, but any sweetened foods need to be removed 10 days prior to your hunt. As far as safety goes, check your deer stand. The number one cause of injury is not from guns. It's actually from deer stands. The DNR recommends that uh, before you go out there tomorrow, Go out today to check that stand to make sure that it is secure. Stores all around the Twin Cities are opening extra early this morning, so hunters can get that head start out there to get uh, get the deals. We know there are some stores that are opening up at 6 this morning. Yeah, many of the major ones. Some of them had uh, some sales a little bit earlier. Right, You right, know, yeah. so they're already done. Last week, yeah. So check it, you know, your area, whether it's Cabela's, Gander Mountain, Fleet Farm. Yeah, I was told that a lot of their stuff sells out. So get there early. Well, did you I get need, all your stuff? I, no, I'm going today. I need, license, I need orange right. bla blaze uh, hat. Yes. Right, yeah. yep. So I need to get going on this. Um, my cousin called me the other day saying she was going to get dough urine. Apparently, I need to get some of that. Okay. So <laughs> I'm learning all these things. Yeah. What is that? And you're going. It's a whole new world. What is dough it urine? Is, it's a whole new. Oh, I, urine. I yeah. She said. <laughs> We're going to have a biology with lessons with Jamie someone, in a minute here. Somewhat self-explanatory. Uh, explain this, Jamie, please. I totally thought you said something else. So you're going with family? I'm going, right? Yes, yeah. all my family in northern Minnesota. Um, apparently they've got some camps up there, so they're going to show me the ropes and to show me what it's all That's about. That's great. It'll be fun. Well, yeah. you mentioned deer stand safety. I think it's going to be especially important for the opener because it is going to be so windy, mm. at least early in the day. We do have a